In this video, we'll see how to let the user download data as a CSV from WeWeb. So here I have a collection of tickets, which is coming from Xano. So here it is with all my tickets that are uh, available here. And I want the user to be able to download them as CSV. So what the first thing I need to do is go to the plugins, then extensions, and then select the CSV plugin and add it. Once I added it, now I can go in the workflow here create a new workflow, and now I have access to the download data as CSV option. And so you need to bind this data, and basically this is the data that will get exported as a CSV. So here I will simply select my collections data. And what the plugin will do is that it will create a CSV by checking, creating columns from the keys that are present in the first uh, element of my array. So here I will have the column ID created at title, tag, type, my file, and summary. The thing is, your uh, object needs to be flat, so summary won't be added in the CSV. If you want to do this, you will need to flatten the object first. And here I'm using a collection, but could be also variables, I mean any value, even the results of an API call, as long as it's an array of objects that are all the same in like here I have always the same keys. And then I can give a name to my file, so I will call it exports. And now if I test it, you see that it's downloading a file that I can check, for example, in Google Spreadsheet. So if I create a new spreadsheet and then I import my file, I'll be able to see this CSV. So let me open the new file by uploading it. Okay, so it's getting imported. And you see here, I have a CSV indeed with all my columns, my, my keys, sorry, that are becoming columns. And as I said, the summary won't get displayed here because it's an object. So you need to flatten it, but I have everything else and that's it.